brake system. We'll start with the air hoses. We want to check the air hoses coming into the brake chamber and where they're connecting on the other side. Want to make sure that the connections are good, they're tight, secure, and there's no leaking. The hoses are not cracked, damaged, or bulging, and there are no leaks, and they're in good enough condition to supply air to the braking system. As well, I want to check the brake chamber. That's here. I want to make sure that it is not cracked, damaged, or dented. It's securely mounted to uh, the bracket. It's not leaking, and the clamps are in place and secure. Next is the push rod. The push rod is here. It's coming straight out of the brake chamber. It's not bent, cracked, damaged, or missing. It is uh, fastened to the uh, slack adjuster with these pins and cotter keys. And with the brakes released, I can pull on this and there should be no more than one inch of play. The slack adjuster, I'm checking to make sure that it is not cracked, damaged, it's uh, properly lubricated and securely fastened. Over here, we have the brake drum. The drum, we're checking to make sure that it is not cracked, damaged, or pitted. Also checking to make sure that there are no um, illegal repair welds or damage to it. You want to feel inside the drum for smoothness. We can also look at the drum inside here, looking for signs of overheating, such as bluing or little stress fractures. Also want to make sure that it's not warped or it's not worn too thin. Then we have the brake lining. The lining, we're checking to make sure that it is not cracked or damaged. It's seated properly inside the drum. There's no loose or missing hardware springs or anything, and it's not separating from this metal backing plate here. And the lining should be a minimum of a quarter inch thick. So there's this little notch here that is that indicator. And we wanna make sure that no parts are missing. There's no cracks or damage. 